Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be filming this video where I talk to you about how much money I made in the month of March flipping furniture. I have been flipping furniture for over two years now and it first started as kind of a side hustle, a way to make money um, while I was in between jobs trying to find a new one, but it quickly became this full-time job for me and now this is my primary income. I honestly do believe that furniture flipping is one of the most slept on side hustles that are out there because you are buying the pieces, you are coming up with the design, and you are setting the price point for that sale. Like with most side hustles though, furniture flipping has its ups and downs. And right now in March, I personally am having really good sales. I'm not exactly sure why, but I would guess that it's because spring cleaning is starting and people are getting out with the old and bringing in the new. I did go ahead and look at how much money I made in March of last year, my first year flipping furniture. And I will say that last year in March also had some pretty high sales as well as April. So I'm excited to be moving into the month of April pretty soon here. Now when I'm filming this we do still have a week left of March so there is a chance that I will be making more money and we will talk about that a little bit later in this video with needing to go over everything like how much money I've made, all of my expenses and everything um, because of tax season. It makes it really easy for me to go through these numbers with you guys about a year ago. Um, I would be scrambling to tell you guys how much money I made just because I would make the sale, I would pocket the change, and I wouldn't think beyond that anymore. But now that this has actually turned more into a business than a hobby, it's important to track those things. So make sure you guys are tracking like your expenses and your profits um, so that when tax season does come around, you guys are prepared and ready to go. It can be such a headache, so I recommend getting a binder, maybe like a envelope where you can put all of your receipts in for everything that you've bought, furniture flipping related. And then I like to sell my pieces on Facebook Marketplace, so I keep all of those. I never delete the listings. I will mark them as sold, but I won't delete them just so I can go back and reference. And then I like to also write down on a piece of paper the title that I put in the Facebook Marketplace description so that it matches. I like to put when it was listed, I like to put how much it sold for and the date that it sold and where I originally got it from. That way I'm not questioning anything really and it just makes it really easy when tax season comes around. Anyways, I did not expect to be talking about taxes. It just kind of came to mind. I'm like, yeah, I should maybe mention that. But let's get to the nitty gritty of this video, what we're actually here for today. Um, I've got, you know, my notebook of all the things I was just talking about so that I can reference this and tell you guys exactly how much money I made in the month of March. But first, I've already done a lot of talking. I gotta sip my tea. I am drinking hibiscus tea. I am definitely more of a tea person than I am a coffee person, but I will say I do love a good iced chai. Oh wait, no. That's tea too. So yeah, I'm definitely more of a tea person than coffee. I definitely recommend trying um, hibiscus tea if you haven't because it is so good. All right, let's move on and start with the first sale in March. So the first sale that I had in March was this nine drawer basset dresser. I originally had bought it for $75 at the Salvation Army and it sat for maybe a week and then it sold for $475. The second piece that I sold was this black textured nine drawer dresser. But I did get it free because I got it from that home clean out where the renters kind of just up and left everything. And so I got to kind of cipher through all of their stuff and I got some really good furniture for free and I'm making money on it now. I did end up selling it for $200. I think that that is a good price for that dresser just because for one, I really wanted to try that textured wallpaper and there was definitely a learning curve there. I think that my work could have been better. I absolutely love the wallpaper though. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, I actually have videos for most of these pieces that I am talking about, if not all. The third piece that I sold was this 
Mike's drawer dresser. I got this one for $75 from Facebook Marketplace. Now this I feel like was a little bit steep for this piece but it still made a good profit at $375. The fourth sale that I made in March was this blue and gray dresser plus the nightstand, which I had gotten for free at the same home clean out that I got the black textured wallpaper dresser from, and I ended up selling that one for $275. The next piece that I sold was this cedar chest, and I bought it for $10 at the Salvation Army, and um, it sold for $225, and that is the price of some of my lower end dressers, so I'm pretty surprised by that. Now, if you add up all the costs of those five sales the total would be 1550 now I also do want to add in two more pieces that I have for sale because they're getting a lot of interest right now and um, I have people coming to look at them so I'm assuming that they are gonna get sold before March is over and the first one being the six drawer black and tan dresser I got this dresser for $30 at the Salvation Army and this one I didn't put so much materials into, rather I put a lot of time and energy into this so I am pricing this one higher at $600 but I really do think that it's still gonna sell. And then this next one is a four drawer tall boy white dresser. That's what I put it on Facebook Marketplace. That's its listing. I bought it for $75 and again, that's kind of steep, but recently it has been kind of hard to find dressers. Sometimes you just gotta take what you can get and that's what I did here. It was still a great dresser. It was just a little bit steep on the price, but I got it at the Salvation Army as well. And I have it listed for $300 and I am assuming that it is going to sell. So that would be an additional $900 that I would be making in the month of March, meaning the total amount of money that I would be making is $2,450. Now I know you guys really love when everything is laid out on the table, like how much it was bought for, how much you put in material cost, and then also um, how much it sold for. And and so I do think that we should go over the fees and how much um, I have to take out of my total profit because obviously I didn't do all of this for free. But before we get into that, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe down below if you aren't yet. It really does help small channels like mine grow. Recently my channel has been growing pretty fast and it is super exciting just because, you know, I've been at this for two years. I'm seeing day by day like my hard work paying off so thank you guys so much and now we can start talking about all of the fees so I already kind of told you guys how much I bought everything for so I did the math for you guys and including the pieces that I have pending the cost of furniture the money that I've had to put in to buy these pieces that number is $265 I try to keep the prices low when I am looking for um, pieces to flip because obviously the lower the initial cost, the more profit you're gonna make in the end. I would say $415 isn't terrible, but it could definitely be lowered since we are only talking about seven pieces right now. Beggars can't be choosers. I had to choose what was available to me, but if you can keep it lower than that, that would be awesome. And then I also wanted to talk about the cost of materials. I really try to keep the cost of materials down as much as I can and I do that by getting discounted paint a lot at the hardware stores when I can I love to support the small businesses but you really can't beat a gallon of paint for nine dollars at in the oops section I also like to check for hardware sales at um, any of the hardware stores oftentimes um, they are actually switching out their hardware and they have like 50 cent each sales and I just go crazy um, when that happens. I will pick up so much hardware even if I don't have a dresser to put it on right then and there because I know eventually I will. 
I'll literally spend like $50 on hardware when that happens because then I have so much hardware and you really cannot find 50 cent hardware anywhere else. So that's a steal. That's why I always stock up. Although if I'm looking for something specific, I like to look on Amazon because a lot of the time they have really good hardware like bulk sets of hardware for a lot cheaper than it would be if you were buying in the store. If you are looking for like a bundle of hardware, definitely check out Amazon. I will have my Amazon link down below in case you want to check out any of the hardware I have gotten off of Amazon. Um, I really love, there's like a 30 pack of the luxurious bar hardware that I absolutely love. Otherwise, I also like to use this farmhouse hardware often. And I think it's only like $11 for 20 pieces. And so that is less than a dollar per unit, which is an incredible price in my opinion. Another expense that I often have and is one of my most expensive though, is the custom wood bases that me and Avery build on a lot of our furniture. If you watch any of my videos, you will often see one of those pop up at either the middle or the end of um, the video because we have noticed that anytime we put on a wood base, it just really adds value to the piece. We do use red oak, so it is a little bit more expensive, but we're always getting more money than we spent on it. You gotta spend money to make money, so that it's that type of thing, and that can get pretty expensive, which will drive up the price and material costs. If it weren't for the bases, I would honestly say that I maybe spent $45 on materials on all seven of these flips. Like I try to keep my material cost really low, but because we do do the wood bases and people love them. So I'm going to continue doing them. I am going to add that into the material cost and that is going to bring our material cost to around $150. Now, if you put the cost of the furniture and the material cost, that is an all in of $415 on all seven of these pieces that I have gone over. Now, math is not my strong suit, so I'm I wrote it all down before this video, but if you take $2,450 and you subtract $415, which was, you know, material costs and how much money I put in, then I get a total profit of $2,035 in the month of March. Now, this is not to say that I make this much every single month. There are definitely months where I make a lot less and there's even months where I will make um, quite a bit more. It really just depends what I have for sale. White pieces of furniture sell very quickly. I like to try to do a variety because I do film everything for my YouTube channel. If I didn't have this, I would be doing white piece after white piece because they sell for a high price and very quickly. Um, but yeah, some months I make way more and some months I make way less. I also want to say that this is only the money that I have made physically flipping furniture. There's also a few other things that I make money from such as this YouTube channel. So when you guys watch my videos and you watch the ads, that is how I get paid. So thank you guys if you are doing that. And um, that's why we always push the thumbs up because it kind of tells the algorithm to push my video out to more people, which means more views, which means that I can get paid more. I will say that I do not get paid a lot from YouTube. Most of my money does come from the furniture flipping. That is my number one um, revenue source is flipping furniture. Um, but I do get paid on YouTube. I also get paid for my affiliate links. So all of those links that you guys see in the description box down below, when someone buys something through my link, I do get a percentage of that. And then me and Avery are actually in the process of saving to buy a house. So we do a few other side hustles um, throughout the week and the weekend, some days. Um, just to make additional income to be able to save to buy a house, which I am hoping will be happening within the next year. So stick around for that. I am so excited for that. I'm so excited to 
film the content for that, we are going to be buying a fixer upper. So there's going to be a ton of content there, but the furniture flips will not stop. Do not worry about that. Honestly, this week's video was supposed to be a furniture flipping video, um, but it has been so dang hard to find furniture. And if I don't have furniture, I can't flip anything and I can't record a video. So anyways, I did find something now. So there will be a furniture flipping video in next week's video. So that's just another thing that I wanted to say, but I think I'm going to end the video here. We went over quite a bit and I hope you guys have a better idea of kind of how much money you can make flipping furniture. I know I really love watching these videos where people go over all the numbers and are super transparent and I'm pretty open with money. I don't really think it's very taboo. A lot of people do though and I don't know, I don't really mind sharing and it's not like I'm making so much that it's worth bragging about because it's not, but for a, someone who's been doing it for two years and is still growing, I think that's pretty awesome. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you aren't yet. Another thing that helps the algorithm is when you comment something. So comment down below what your favorite um, flip was in this video. All the pieces that I went over, which one was your favorite? Otherwise, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!